there guys welcome and welcome back to my channel um today we're gonna be doing a sketchbook tour and um i actually finished the sketchbook quite a while ago i finished it in october i was supposed to do it for the spooky time <laughs> um to show you guys and i just got overwhelmed with school and stuff and ended up not doing it so here it is for you guys now this is my sketchbook it is i don't remember what kind of sketchbook um it's just the local kind from my um supply shop um painted this on the front i have a video on my channel if you want to see me paint this i'll put it up in the uh in the cards for you so let's open it Alrighty. So when I started this, I had, uh, I started it in January of 2020. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yes. And, um, it has been going quite well, I think. Hold on. I wrote down the pages and the date up here. Um, I have, it's nine by six inches. Oops. It is nine by six inches, 70 pound paper, and 106 page, 106 sheets. So it was quite big. It took me a long time to finish this. Um, at least from what I think. Um, I guess other people finish sketchbooks a little bit faster than that, but not me. Okay. And then here I've got my test page. I'm um, just testing some things I um, got. These are like the Enjoy pens. And so I always skip a page. I didn't go back this time and draw on it, so I mean, you know, it is what it is. And some sketchy sketches. Um, and this is something in my style. You guys have seen the little winky thing on my uh, the end caps of my videos. Um, this is this is me playing with that style a little more um i really like the way she came out and this is me doing some um draw this in your style stuff i think um gorge i think that's how you say it, gorge um the this is their character pua and if i'm not saying that right i'm sorry <laughs> and here are some sketches of um Random people. I thought this girl looked really cool. She had like this, she looked like a red, like a dark skinned little Debbie, like the snack cake person. Oh. And I just thought it would be cool if she looked like a vampire. Some more faces. Um, some blind contour stuff over here. Um, I was doing an Audra Claire uh, study here. And this is Matthew Hansen. I think this was during Black History Month when I started sketching all that. And I did some watercolor here and some more Audra Eau Claire stuff. And a little scene from, uh, I don't know, I was just drawing tree bark that overlap. I'm going to do some cars. And this random girl with a ballpoint pen and then it started busting open so I just put her hair with like what was left like rubbing out on the paper um this is some lord gris studies and again i hope you guys know like uh when i'm sketching i just open my sketchbook to whatever so a lot of this stuff is upside down and to keep from flipping the sketchbook around a whole bunch, I'm just gonna leave it like it is. And this is drawing my character Dice. This is my character Dice. Um, I draw her and then it makes it look like she's old. Like a lot older than she is. Comic book or whatever, I don't know. Here's some more stuff, drawing some side profile. I think this one turned out really good. This one's not bad. This one's not horrible. I think my proportions are just off. My character. Some watercolor stuff. Um, this is from my 10 
110 challenge. Um, you know. And then I drew that one in like 30 minutes or something, I guess. And here's some commission work uh, for a friend of mine. And here it is of Bone Daddy himself, uh, Bernard, one of my favorite spooky characters. He's my favorite. He's such a great guy. <laughs> um, some stylized Bonard stuff, because he's blushing here. Um, and a mermaid. Was this for mermaid? I don't think. Well, so a lot of this stuff is out of order, I will say that, because I um, skipped pages when things were wet, like the stuff here, um, in order to not have everything bleed onto itself. So, yeah, there are some things that are not out of order. With this cool chicken I saw, like with like a little afro, thought it was cool. Um, Mothman and character and then another mothman here and some more uh sketchy stuff drawing some faces i think i did a painting of that if i find the pictures of it i'll uh, show it and i was just drawing here and there some faces um this is a study of an artist called Obby. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it is written here. You can find them on Twitter, I believe, with this handle. Um, and here is a friend of mine. Um, dared me to make a banana man. And so I made a banana man. Um, I'm actually kind of proud of it. I just don't want people to see. And then here's what's under it. These are all the sketches I had of said banana man. He started out like that and turned into this. So I'm gonna keep go. Oops, oops, stick down, please. And some more stylized stuff. Drew a mech hand. I don't know, I was bored. And like a filtery mask. Mm -mm. Some more sketchy stuff. This is the rough sketches for that mirror I painted about a while ago. Um, I also drew some faces. I think I, I saw her on Facebook and she was super duper pretty. So I decided that I like absolutely needed to draw her. And I used like my blending stump and a crusty little number two pencil. And I drew some butts. I also drew some spooky stuff. This was for a friend of mine's birthday, but I made her some art. Shout out to Jade. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I made her a, a Jason thing. She really likes horror movies. And then it's more butts because I was practicing anatomy. And here is where I started my Meds 100 Heads. Um, and if you've seen that video, then you would have seen all this before and I'm actually just going to skip through this stuff really fast because you could always just go watch that video um which is fine like it'll be slower for me to flip through I'm going to skip past this and okay that's the end here and it's a mushroom and an apron that Christine McConnell made that I thought was super duper pretty. Um, I wanted to make one, but I got lazy and never did, so I just drew it. Um, also, <laughs> this is supposed to be the Pringles mascot. I just wanted to see what it looked like if he like had regular features, I guess. And it's kind of off-putting, not gonna lie. Um, and this is uh, Tribor from Final Space. And I was learning how to draw feet here. Um, this is one of my students. I am 
This is a family member of mine. Um, I got the Derwent Ink Tense Pencil, so I, I tried them here to see how they blended. I really like it. And I drew some penguins and a green chicken because I think this was for um, Dr. Seuss's birthday. And here are this is my favorite uh, Pokemon, Sandlash. And some blind contours of some other Pokemon, which you can't see, but it's Mew and then Vaporeon, I think. Um, and a Sobble. And it's some, um, here I was playing with some um, color pencils, some Diego Rivera stuff. Um, and I was doing some yoga poses to draw. I'm just gonna pass those because they're not really anything much to see. Um, here I am learning proportions a little bit more and drawing something in the crack of the book because I think that looks really cool since the sketchbook lays so flat. Um, a bumblebee. And I was gonna do the six fan arts thing but I ended up not. So here's like some of the faces I drew. So my honor from Overwatch, I felt like she looked really good. And uh, Gearless Joe from Dagum um, Megalobox. I feel like he came out really good too. And here's my cat. And this was for the, this was for the Sailor Moon redraw that I never did. And some dogs. And I put um, Sam Manson into my art style in both of these places. I think she came out really good here. Um, I was using, here I was using my Winsor Newton, um, my Winsor Newton alcohol markers. Um, because I was thinking about getting the Arteza gray tone markers and I just wanted to see what color I already had if I really needed it. And I honestly don't like the Winter Newton markers. They're not that great. And there's Marceline, some poor sketches of Marceline and then some other stuff I was thinking about doing. Um, and this is for some commission stuff, but he released it already so I can like show you guys. And then I finally broke down and bought the Arteza markers. Um, and um, yeah, I really liked them. And this is something I made with it. A little skull here. Um, and I was bored extremely. And I just painted a page because I ruined it on this side with all the marker swatches. So I just painted over it and um, did this and I, I don't know what it is about this sketchbook but I drew Mothman and played doctors a lot but yeah and I guess that's a jackalope right yeah I thought it looked pretty cool and um, you'll probably see this a lot in my sketchbook but you guys know I uh, when I don't know what to draw I kind of just draw shapes and go with the flow to turn them into something so you know are my various things. All right. So, I drew a snake <laughs> and uh, a shoe that is very ill-proportioned. And this is for some commission work that I worked on. Some more clothes designs for that. This is, this catches when I drew my cheeseburger snail for TikTok. Um, and you're in the Maka, I think that's her name from Soul Eater. Um, I never finished color it in, but yeah, I drew Tupac for his birthday. I screwed up his face, so that's why there's a sticky note over it. And here I am drawing some lips just because I was bored. Um, this was a failed video. I was gonna showcase the Arteza markers for you guys and the files got corrupted. So just enjoy that. 
I think the character looks pretty cool, honestly. And then there's his sketch underneath. Uh, oop, can't show you that because it's not out yet. Yeah, I'll fold it down so you guys can see the part of that. There you go. This is a mermaid I did for mermaid. Technically it's a selkie, but you know, it is what it is. It is. Oh, this stuff is already out. So, um, a friend of, well, a family friend commissioned me to draw some um, D and D characters, and their descriptions are here. Uh, and these are their initial sketches. I can put their final sketches up when I edit. I mean, well, I can put their final sketches up somewhere around here. Um, this is Nile. Fweck and Palser, I think I'm saying that right. He's a handsome devil. And this is a uh, Miles redraw, I'm pretty sure, because he wanted to chin point here. He looks like a goblin here. Um, I'm drawing a chicken for one of my students. This is just an exploration of my style, so, you know. I was just trying to see what I wanted them to look like when they were in profile, which it doesn't quite translate the way I wanted it to, but I worked on it later. Um, and here is a more fun sketch of Dice, because I feel like she should look more like this rather than, like, the older character. And then this is uh, Dice again. And here, I don't know if you can see this, but I painted another one because I ruined this page. And I needed to um, draw on it. I still felt like, I've still felt the need to draw on the page, so there's that. And then this is some stuff I did for a friend of mine. Um, Ashwa, he did some uh, King Ocean. He makes all the music for the background of my videos. Um, you guys should check him out, but he has a video that he made this soundtrack for, uh, and I just drew some art that was Ash from Overwatch. And then this is other things that nobody needs to look at. And this is Pulsar's, or Niles, third redraw he ended up looking more like this and i'm drawing some chickens because it was chicken day with my students there are some character zone workups for that commission that i did um and this is one of my characters uh reza and uh yeah i try to draw her cute and then i try to draw her a little more aggressive and another one of my styles this is Oho, my other character here. Um, I kind of thought him up by accident and then he just kind of, I drew him a whole bunch. And so here's a whole spread of Oho. And uh, Oho actually has a video when I was trying to use my uh, Himi Maya gouache. Mia. Himi Maya gouache. Yeah. So there that. And some more Oho stuff, and I'm swatching some S markers. And I also had um, drawn some shoes that I wanted to make. And I'm just drawing rabbits <laughs> for whatever reason. And I drew some chickens with my heaving meal gouache. One of my students just absolutely loves chickens. And uh, so I just draw them for him a lot. This is a little, there's a gum wrapper that I drew a chicken on the back of at the studio really fast. And um, yeah, I kept it cause I think it came out pretty good. And here's another chicken. And a bumblebee, and this was, oh, a phone number, so I won't open it. And I drew something else on the back of a gum wrapper. Uh, 
Matt and a blind cartoon squirrel in Oho. Uh, it's a chicken. I thought he was super cute. And um, I was watching that video. <laughs> I saw, a, uh, I think, a TikTok video with this caption or whatever. So I drew that. And um, here's me working out some stickers for my little character, Struggle Bug. Um, I ended up making this into a sticker. I think I'm probably gonna do this one too. You guys tell me what you think. I made him kind of chunky here. Not a big deal, I just didn't really like the way it came out. <clears throat> There's me sketching some faces and hands and such. Okay, this mistake here was when I thought it would be a good idea to mix Humpty Dumpty and Dr. Eggman. It looks hilarious. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I laughed the whole time drawing this. And here I am drawing some feet. Lower feet, I messed up here and there, so I had to like put other pieces of paper down uh, to cover it up. And I'm drawing some shoes because I don't know, I, I guess it's easier to draw shoes than it is feet for me. Or socks at least. So here's more feet studies. And this one with the really long pinky toe. There's a tiny little struggle bug comment. And another chicken. And I draw this girl, because I know she's doodling. A chicken, and this is probably what dice would look like as a teenager for real. Um, and teeny tiny baby dice. I don't know, she just never looks the same twice. I don't know why. And here's a gouache painting of a little dress that I thought was so adorable. Um, there's a fairy house, and this was a preliminary sketch for a TikTok I did that turned Megan the Stallion into a JoJo's Bizarre character. <clears throat> the strong weird facial hair. And then this is stuff for Leonin. Leonin. Um, it's Katie's. This was Among Us and Bomberman. I don't know, nobody needed that, but <laughs> I made the mashup. Here's some more commission work, some more Leonin stuff. This was some spooky Halloween drawings that I did. Um, I'll just paste the picture up here because I can't remember whose draw this in your style this was. Um, and this is my cute candy corn girl that I drew for TikTok. And this is Oho and a Karen. Oh, you can't see it. Oho and a Karen. He looks so done. <laughs> and here I was drawing Ryugo, uh, Matuo, Ma, I don't know, Ryo, Ryugo from Kill a Kill. Um, next week, this is Garnet, but it is what it is. I was trying to get some stuff together here. Um, oh, here's the watercolor I did that. I gave her a robot hand, cause why not? And here's a little self-portrait. Because um, I dyed like Ryuko's stripe in my hair. So I just drew myself. And here is my... She was supposed to be a little... I don't know. Devil girl, I guess. Uh, I never really did anything with that. And here's this is doodling. Faces. Some more faces. Here's some redesign of Rizzo. And, um, I thought this outfit was cute, so I drew it. And this is something I did for TikTok. Some rough sketches and some hair I thought was super cool. Um, here I am redrawing the character Sergey. I ended up doing it in another sketch with two. Trying to make him look more creepy. And here's a little pictorial I made for TikTok with uh, 
to help people think about tea the right way. And here's a cute little alien that I was putting together. And then here's his gouache painting. And then this is gonna be the end because here I do nude studies back here and I'm just not gonna show that on um, YouTube. Yeah, so thanks for joining me for this. Um, I hope you guys like the sketchbook and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.